When using Salesforce Billing, one of the primary questions that each organization is going to need to answer is, how do we want to get paid? In this video, you and I are going to deep dive into how you'll receive payments from your customers using Salesforce Billing. One of the first decisions we're going to make when we think about payments is which payments are we going to accept? And that's the entire focus of this series. In this series, we're gonna talk about all of those payment options, what they are, and how to use them inside of Salesforce Billing. So first ask yourself, are you going to take analog payments? These are some of the most classic forms of payments such as cash, money order, cashier's checks, and yep, plain old paper checks. Will you be taking digital payments? These include the more modern forms of payment like electronic bank debits, credit card payments, debit cards, prepaid cards, gift cards, and even QR codes. Yeah, no, I'm not kidding. Today, Chinese consumers are largely paying with QR codes in lieu of a credit card. You might be asking, why? Well, can you imagine how much it might cost to mail 1 billion consumers a credit card? Or if they have four cards, send them four billion cards? That might cost a billion dollars. That might cost $3 billion. In 2016, WeChat Pay and Alipay together did 1.6 trillion in payments using QR codes. That's bonkers, right? Do you plan to take modern bank payments? This includes ACH uh, here in the US, EFT in Canada, SEPA in Europe, direct debit there in the UK, and also in Australia. There are systems for this payment type in many, many countries globally. Does your organization want to take in-person payments? Are you talking to your customers face-to-face -face when it's time for them to pay? Well, if so, then you are taking in-person payments. Perhaps you simply take all of your payments via an e-commerce site, or maybe just via phone payments. In this video series, we're gonna cover each of these in detail so that you can understand how all of them work inside of Salesforce Billing. I want to help you be highly educated on your options so that you can make the best decision for your organization. I will show you how to use all of these key payment components inside of Salesforce Billing. And that's what we're gonna cover in this series. If you wanna have a full understanding of payments and Salesforce billing, you are in the right place. Thank you for watching our video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And check out our next video here. Don't hesitate to reach out. We are always here to help.